Hey there, folks. Good morning. It is Friday. That means it is time for Free Coaching Friday right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stick around. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. And as I mentioned in the open, it is Friday. That means Free Coaching Friday. So uh, we'll have a pretty good topic today, I think. I think. We'll see where that takes us. Before we get there, though, just want to remind you, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, drop a comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you were here. And if you happen to be listening... <coughs> excuse me, listening instead of watching, that's cool too. But remember, head on over to um, TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That gets you to the right page on Facebook so you can participate in our conversations every weekday morning. I'd love to see you here. And if you are here, if you hear something that resonates with you or somebody in your network, something that they could really benefit from, Tag them in that comment. Share it out to your network. All of those things are much appreciated here on this end. So, let's see. Good morning, Keith. Thank you for being here. About to call you out there, buddy. <laughs> I, uh, so the show starts at 7 o'clock in the morning, right? And as I have said to you many times, uh, I usually get up around 5. And by the way, just let me point out, if you see the screen flapping, that's okay or you hear the train coming through the yard, that's all right, too. Have a little bit of a storm coming through this morning, not much. Remnants of uh, Hurricane Harvey. Um, but anyway, all that will be good. So I'm up by 5. I get out this morning. I'm sitting here doing my stuff, and bloop, got a message that pops up here from a regular listener and longtime supporter of the show, Keith. And here's what he said. And I, I, you'll understand this in just a second. New month, new energy, new things to try and achieve. Let's make September 2017 a good one. I'm right there with you, buddy. In fact, I'll even replace good and say make it great. All right? So I got that. That kind of made me smile. I read the rest of the post there. And then I'm, I'm, you know, getting stuff set up here in Facebook for our time together this morning. And look over and in my feed, two other posts that say something similar to that. It's a new month. Let's do new things. It's a, you know, September's off to a great start. It's, and, and I'm just curious how many of you look at the first day of the month that way or look at it as, you know, Friday, the day that comes after Thursday, and the one day that's holding, you know, preventing me from making my weekend. I, I you know, great things can happen. There's a, uh, Paul Giamatti, I think was his name, used to be, I might have that wrong, but he used to be the, the uh, commissioner of Major League Baseball. And he had this great quote that I kept up on my wall for years that said, you know, baseball reminds us of life, that every spring we get to start over brand new and everything equal, right? Well, okay, apply that same logic to the month. It's a new month. I get to start over. August is done. What's done is done. Now it's September. What am I going to do with that? Right. So the other thing I wanted to, so, so that's a, that's a mindset thing. That's totally a way to look at, at your month and yeah, help start it, do it each week, do it every day. Right. And that's why I tell you every morning, be grateful for something. What are you grateful for? Right. It's just a great way to start the day. Now here's the other thing I wanted to tell you kind of plays into that. And ties into what we've been talking about all week. All week long, we've talked about obstacles, right? And how to get around them, when we uh, should stop to work on them, when we should not stop to work on them. Today, I am reminded by these people who have shown up in my feed this morning that we're all in this together. And, and I had another great... Um, post shared with me this morning from a friend, <clears throat> especially as really, the, this particular post was talking about Hurricane Harvey and how it's really not about competition, it's about cooperation. There has to be a healthy, I, this is one thing I, he and I disagree on, there has to be some measure of competition, 
right? I mean, we, we need, we have an innate need to position, rank, and order ourselves, and that competition allows us to do that. But competition in and of itself is not the end game, right? I was telling somebody the story, I actually had occasion to tell it twice this week, but there was a time where I had a business, and in town there were five businesses that did the same thing that I did. And every Saturday morning, the five owners or leaders all had breakfast together. Think about that for just a minute. If you have competition in your business, or even if you are an employee, and you've got a group of peer managers there, would, would you get together and have breakfast with them on your day off? What possible benefit could come from that? Right? We built, we were able to form a nice, tight-knit group of friends there. And because of the nature of the work, we needed to depend on one another from time to time when circumstances came up that we needed help. It's a small community. We needed somebody that we could call on. So that worked out very well for us. I even sent clients to these other guys all the time, and they reciprocated and sent them to me because we were working together, and we built a very strong industry, right? A, a, a very a, and a very good reputation for our industry in that market because of how well we worked together. You know, people knew that if you if you came to Dallas to, for this particular type of thing, you were going to get great service, and it really didn't matter who you talked to. So, it just worked out well. All right, brand new month, brand new day. What are you going to do today to make it great? And I would love to see it in the comments. If you are so bold, drop me a comment down there and let me know what you're going to do in September to make September great. I'm all about accountability, right? What are you going to do in September to make September great? Drop that down in the comments. Sometime around the 1st of October, we'll pull this post out and see what it says, all right? So Eric uh, is not lurking this morning and said, learning to meet with competition is a valuable exercise. So why do you say that? So I'm interested in, in that comment. Um, you and I have talked about this a little bit, but uh, why do you think it's valuable? Just meeting with them is valuable. I've got an opinion on that, but... Always interested to hear other folks' point of view. Hey, listen, remember, if uh, somebody else could benefit from this, maybe somebody else you want to have create a result in September? Hmm? I don't know, just a thought. Share this post with them, right? See if that will encourage them to move the ball forward. Yeah, several reasons. Uh, Eric's going to talk to me today to start the month off, right? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that's starting it right or not. All right, listen, you guys have a great Friday in the States here. This is Labor Day weekend. Monday is a holiday. I'll be here, though. Just, I'll be here for you. How about that? <laughs> we'll be up anyway. Might as well do the show. So I'll see you Monday. You guys have a great weekend. I will talk to you then. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Okay, I'm going to go now.